question was, why is it that God is portrayed as a man? Hey everybody, thank you for joining me in another beautiful day here when I'm recording this, but you know, whenever you choose to join me, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, late at night, afternoon, it doesn't matter. I appreciate the likes, the looks, the listens, but of course I'd appreciate you hitting that subscribe and notification bell and the like button on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone, but of course do that if you want to, no pressure whatsoever. I'm recalling a conversation that I had with one of my friends and she gave, she posed a question that you know what it's a very simple question and unfortunately I didn't have the 100% answer to to provide with like you know something solid I knew it myself but the question was why is it that God is portrayed as a man her thoughts her sentiments was that well it's because the, the book the Bible was written by men and men just wanted to impose their their will over women and everything Understandably, because we've been shown a lot of examples of men just imposing their wills, not just men all over, just the men who were in control of narratives, control of resources, control of whatever. So unfortunately, yeah, that is that is a reality. And people who live in this world, they, they utilize that as their foundation to understand things. That's what's been shown to us. And at the time, I said, you know what? I can explain a bit, but I should have explained a lot better. So, of course, that drove me to go study more, to read more. And I believe, well, I know I should have known even better at that capacity to this answer of, oh, boom, 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 boom. But I believe everyone is supposed to have that capacity to understand, not just understand to this their own liking, but to go past their own limitations, to get out their comfort zone and, and learn. And the father portrays himself in the masculine form. There is something about the presence of a man when he is there properly, when he's there mentally, physically, when he's there spiritually, when he's there to uplift, when he's there to guide, when he's there to help mediate. It's something that a woman cannot do or produce. Deuce. That's why it seems so weird, even today, even today, Santa, there was so much going on. It's still not right when you see a woman trying to step into the shoes and the fulfillment of a man. The authority that a man's supposed to have, not abuse of authority, because this is what we perceive as what, unfortunately, is perceived as masculine, as a man establishing himself. But see, when you see a man, and he's about his business, and he's doing things properly, not just being a top earner. That's just kind of part of it of our society. That has nothing to do with it whatsoever. Let's get that off of the table one time. You see a man in his presence, he's confident in what he's doing and he's focused on what he's doing and he's looking to build up. He's looking to make sure things are secure around him. He's looking to make sure other people are good. He's trying to make sure that everything that he does is about the productivity and well-being if he can help it for not just his family, but those around him and anything that may be affected by his legacy. The presence of a man is just an absolute authoritative figure, which is why we're made in two different genders. We both have our specific roles. Unfortunately, a lot of men, me, myself included, especially when I was younger, have lost our way. We've had too many wrong examples and were enabled to go down these wrong paths and thinking this is the way to go. You, you can't allow pride to misrepresent what you're supposed to be doing because other people are doing something. You know better. Most people know better. Even if they may not know the whole book or know the whole thing, what to do better. We have to know better. We have to practice better. And that's definitely part of being what a man is. Our God, our creator, Elohim. We are supposed to go to him as the authority, just like how it is supposed to be for a father. People are supposed to go to him for help, for authority, not just in just stern judgment, not callous guidance, because a lot of people think that's what you have to be. You have to be strong, but you have to be compassionate. Not saying you got to be soft. We have to look at Yeshua. 
Whenever we have doubt, we look at the sea. We don't look at other people. I just did another podcast about the whole red pilling thing, basically, and kind of talk about the same thing in a sense, but more, more focused on why the father is in masculine form. Because when other, I hear other people talk about God as a woman or whatever, that's nonsense. I'm going to say it right up how, how it is. I don't subscribe to that. That's not what I've learned. It's not what I've understood and experienced. And I understand how life is and there's an order to life, an order that our creator has put down and constructed for us to follow. He's not a woman. He's a masculine entity for us to go to for reference and we look at Yeshua if we need to follow how we're supposed to go how we're supposed to interact with people how much we should know what we should how we should talk how we should walk help everyone not just cold stern hard person and stubborn because unfortunately a lot of people have that as their experience with their fathers unfortunately people have the flip side to that where the father wasn't really there could have been absentee and doesn't mean that he left the household he could have been there and but just not present there to give proper guidance to uphold order to give compassion when needed. Yeah, we have to be strong, especially now with all the things going on, but it's more so important to understand why the father is portrayed and he portrays himself and identifies himself as masculine because it's something about being in a proper masculine presence that does something for everyone. Everyone will be drawn to it. We have something established. We have someone that is about their business. We have someone that is about maintaining order, maintaining fairness, maintaining proper character for everyone to follow. We need to realize that and understand that. And for me, getting asked that question and going back just to reinforce what I knew already, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to realize I may need to learn more and you do learn more. We never stop learning. And now I understand even more so why the father is in a masculine form. And now I understand why the father is how he is and wants us to be a specific way and look to him as authority because we as men are supposed to be the proper authority, not abuse, not abusive of our authority, not oppressive with our authority, but we have to make sure everything and everyone is good with proper morals, with ethics, with standards. We have to make sure everyone has the resource they need in any way, shape, or form. Speak directly. Let your yes be yes, your no's be no's. Speak properly, accordingly, respectfully with others. If things go out of whack, you best believe you have to come down and be firm. Not to mean you gotta be firm every single time to the point where you're callous, but to be firm so the people know who you are. They know you're not wishy-washy. They know exactly, okay, I know how this person is. They're not gonna really stand for this right here. I know how this person is. I could count on them to do X, Y, Z. This is what it means to walk with the father and emulate who the father is. So the father definitely is a male. And if we do it properly, we can understand even more why we need an authoritative figure in the lives. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't confuse anyone. Hopefully I gave some, some of you some things to think about. Um, go study, go study. Cause I don't stop studying. Anyways, you want to catch more of my content, go to my website at brooklynbaritone.com. I also have merchandise there. Check it out. There's something there for everyone. You can check out my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. You can find the audio versions of these podcasts on Google Podcasts, Apple iTunes Podcasts, and Amazon Music under Podcasts. I also air four times a week on local Brooklyn cable television. On Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Verizon, Optimum, RCN, and Spectrum. Thank you guys for listening. Hopefully I didn't drop you away. But anyways, you know something to think about. Anyways, walk good. You'll hear from me.